Shalom, call Halayim La Yahawa Bahasham Yahawa Shai Bahasham Rachakwadash. Double honors unto our apostles and elders at Great Millstone that rule well. And much peace and blessings to all you sons of Aki, my dear, that's pushing this 100% truth with all sincerity, faith, and with charity. This is your brother Ash from the Great Millstone Miami Camp coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahawa Bahasham Yahawa Shai. And Lord willing, it's edifying. It's going to be uh, quick and straight to the point. I just wanted to speak on this clip that uh, this brother GMS, austere man, uploaded, okay? Titled, Second Edges 15 and 16 is coming. And uh, he put this thumbnail, as you can see, this was uh, had to be from what was spoken on in the video. It was a clip of Alex Jones. And, you know, if any brothers remember, you had that guy, Alex Jones, you know, who was control opposition, all right? Uh, Bill Hicks, AKA. Okay, he was talking about, uh, he was talking about, you know, last year he was talking about how when all hell breaks loose, you know, he, he, he's, he's already thinking about when all hell breaks loose, he's, he's contemplating the fact that he, he, you know, if it came down to it, he would eat his neighbor. Okay, he said he, he's sizing his neighbor up right now. Okay. And he also said, you know, he, he was speaking about it again in this video. You know, he said it last year, but he was, he was reiter reiterating it. And uh, he said, you would too. Okay, speaking, you know, to the average person, he brought out statistics. He was saying, you know, uh, you know, 90% of the people w would do it. 2% going to starve. You know, the rest is going to, you know, commit suicide or whatnot. And to be honest, he's right. Okay. Not saying that, you know, we of the hopeful elect will engage in such activity, but the majority of the people will. And it's throughout the scriptures. Okay. You can read about cannibalism in the scriptures. You can read about cannibalism within uh, Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. Okay. In the book of uh, First Kings, when during the time of famine in Israel. Okay. There's, there's different uh, places in the scriptures where you can go to and read about cannibalism, okay? And when when the deal goes down, it's, it's going to happen, man. He was also speaking about how you had, uh, you know, he, was, he said for decades, what do you think he said for 20 years, you had the government, you know, and the different, uh, you know, military groups, you know, uh, practicing uh, zombie drills you can even go right now on the Center for Disease Control's website CDC and they have a segment on uh, zombie apocalypse how to prepare for a zombie apocalypse and he broke it down he was saying you know the government knows what's getting ready to happen okay you have the elites they're planning for famine they're the, the famine that's gonna come is gonna be orchestrated it's gonna be an artificial Okay, uh, it's gonna be a, a controlled famine. They're gonna cause a famine, all right? Which uh, or, order out of chaos, order out of chaos. They want to create the chaos so they can bring the order. So the government is preparing for people to be hunting each other down and killing themselves. So they, he's, he, you know, he broke it down like you know they they making it like seem like oh people are gonna be zombies, but I mean if it's a famine and people don't have no food and they're hunting each other and eating each other, that sound like a zombie apocalypse to me, shit, you know? And uh, I think they even showed you in that movie, The Road, when, you know, they showed you in that movie, people was hunting each other down and eating each other. They also showed you that in the book of Eli. All right, and they showed you when, like, when humans taste human flesh, they start tweaking a little bit, you know? They, they, they nervous system start going, wiry and shit because you're not supposed to as a human being you're not supposed to consume human meat that uh you know just like they got this uh mad mad cow disease if you feed a cow uh beef they they go crazy you know so that's that uh is going to happen <laughs> to these people out here so long story short we're getting ready to go into some very serious times very serious times, man, and we're going to need the Lord. We're going to need Yahweh Bashim Shai. We're going to need to have been uh, off uh, making our bodies a living sacrifice 
while we yet had liberty, as the scriptures say. All right. Uh, like it says in Revelation third chapter. All right. Uh, I get it real quick. Okay. Uh, Revelation chapter three. And 10, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So we're getting ready to go into some times that this world has never seen before. And it's going to be a trial. It's going to be a trial to the inhabitants of the earth to see uh, what they truly believe in, what they truly have faith in. Okay. It, are, are they truly god fearing people are they truly righteous or are they truly wicked okay <laughs> esau edom the you know through his power systems they're gonna cause famine they're gonna cause it to be no food they're gonna dry up the waters and there's gonna be a spirit of the lord behind them to do that okay they're gonna be issuing the, the motb the karagma we already know and it tells you in the book of second edges the 16th chapter that all they that could send unto them shall be had in derision so you're going to be having people out here that got the karagma, still not able to eat, okay? And they're going to be committing cannibalism out here, okay? But the Lord said for those that, you know, attend carefully into his word, which, or what the, the elect are doing right now, start with our apostles and others of Great Millstone, the brothers on and the brothers on down, okay? The Lord said he's going to attend carefully unto you. And... It's going to happen in many different ways. Many different ways. The scriptures say, uh, my servant shall eat, okay? Eat, drink, and be merry. Okay, you're going to laugh at destruction, all right? We got to remember these scriptures. That's why it says, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. And strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord is his treasure, okay? But uh, this is Jeremiah 30, man. Just going into more of the times we're getting ready to see. The times that we're getting ready to experience, man. Although the scriptures tell us, you know, we got to remember, remember uh, Psalms 91. Only what thine eyes shalt thou <laughs> behold and see the reward of the wicked. Roughly paraphrasing. All right, but this is Jeremiah 30 and 4. And these are the words that the Lord spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah. Right, because the times that's coming is mainly for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, this is the time the Lord is really going to judge you, as it says in 1 Peter, the fourth chapter. Now is the time that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High. Okay? Verse 5, For thus saith the Lord, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. Ask ye now and see whether a man doth travail with child. Right, men don't get pregnant to have children. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins, as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness. Right, so Jeremiah, the most I showed Jeremiah a vision of, of men in the near future, which is going to take place in the near future, of men holding their stomachs and, and crouching and in a fetal position. Okay, why? Because it's going to be that bad out here. Verse 7, alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. And the he that's going to be saved is the elect. So it's going to get so bad out here. It's going to be like a time like never before. The Mosai gave it a name. He called it Jacob's trouble. So Jacob is going to be in trouble. And that goes for us too. But the Lord said the elect is going to be saved out of it, man. Okay. And in order for that to happen, we got to. We got to be doing what we have to do right now. And we got to have faith that when the, when that time come, okay, the Lord is going to keep us. The Lord is going to be with us. It's about to get very ugly, very nasty out here, man. All right? So, hey, man, we, we, we in the time now. We have this grace period that the Most High gave us to build up our relationship with Yahweh, Yahweh through his son, Yahweh Shai. Okay, and to, and to build up a, a spiritual bank account, so to speak, so that we can have this, you know, works, these works to look back on when time, uh, when the time of trouble hits, because it's going to be a famine of the word. Okay, it's not going to have time to prophesy and whatnot, because the, 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 the prophecy is going to be right in our face. 
okay? But you wanna wanna be able to say I gave my all. I did whatever I had to do for Yahweh Bashmi Shai. Now I just gotta I just gotta trust in him. I just gotta fall back and, and, and let the will of the Lord be done. And have faith, man. So that's just something I wanted to go into real quick through the spirit. I hope it was edifying, you know. Uh, I suggest brothers uh, check out that video that I was talking about. But uh, with that, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rachakwadash. To the next lesson, Shalom.